My name is Peter Longo. I'm the owner of Puerto Rico Importing Company. And today I'm going to show you a coffee that is unique. And it comes from the Philippines. And the coffee fruit, which is a little red berry, when it's ripe, is eaten by these little cat-like animals. And then their poop is collected and the seeds are washed and packaged and then they come to us. What is supposed to happen is that the enzymes from the civet's cat affect the coffee and, and give it some sort of flavor. And uh, when I've cupped it, it is a bit on the tangy side. Uh, it is rare and it's very expensive and $340 a pound. But we don't really sell it by the pound. We sell two ounces or a quarter pound. And because it's so expensive, I roast it when you order it and I use this little sample roaster behind me to you know, roast the two ounces or four ounces, however the customer asks for it. Um, we're looking for a few things when we taste coffee. We wanna look for the body of a coffee, just how does it feel in your mouth. We wanna look for a brightness, and then we wanna look for the flavor, and then I always wanna look for, is it, is it a nice clean cup? Does it finish real smooth? How is that finish? It's kind of got a, it's got a medium body. It's not real chewy but it leaves the mouth really dry, which I find kind of unpleasant in a coffee. Um, it's not doesn't have a lot of brightness, which that's neither a good thing nor a bad thing. It's just some coffees don't have a lot of brightness. Um, it's a little bit nutty. As it cools a little bit more, some of the bitter notes are coming out, which I find kind of unpleasant. And then it's got, um, it hangs out right in the roof of your mouth. It's got a long finish, and it's definitely like, I want a glass of water. <laughs> if you want to try it, if that's the kind of thing you're into, go for it, but I think there's a lot better coffees at a lot lower price point that are available anywhere in New York City.